Eric Mother's mother.com. Let's take a look at the markets here after the close. And this is for the weekend of March 3rd and March 4th, 2018. I'm going to keep it simple here. What we're going to do in this video is use the charts for the Dow. So for the Dow, and pretty much um, they're going to be representing my outlook for the SPX and the NASDAQ. The reason why I'm doing this is pretty much so we can save time and there's no need of going through all of them since they're pretty much very, very similar, if not identical. All right. So let's begin by going back, taking a bigger look at the Dow. So we are still trading with the markets holding above 69.1. And this is a long term monthly chart. It's a good place to begin with because we can see here from 1995. And we can say took a break here. Back again. So all these periods where the arrows are pointing up. Oh, let me do that a different. All right do it a little different so we can say for the most part just to keep it simple this is where the Dow was trading above 69.1 and we can see here towards from 2006 to somewhere here again we can see the Dow was above 69.1 on the monthly we've seen a very strong bull market since we moved above 69.1 so you can see what i'm getting at is as long as we are holding above 69.1 for the s p 500 for the dow and for the nasdaq we are still looking at a market that is sideways at worst bullish at best in other words pullbacks are gonna be there but they tend to be short-lived if we take a look at this from a closer view Something that we need to be very sensitive to here is the possibility, the possibility, since we had a down month in February, there is a possibility, which is actually bullish, that if and when the market can clear recent monthly closing highs for the NASDAQ, S&P 500, and the Dow, this would be the recent all-time monthly closing high if and when the market moves above this monthly closing highs this is going to be a strong sign that the market has intentions of recording higher highs so just keep that in mind if we see the market trying to break out and especially if that breakout is successful that is a sign of a resurgent bull market So if we see a breakout, that would be very bullish. At the same time, at some point, should we try to break out and fail, that's going to be definitely a sign of a market that has run out of energy. A visual representation of this is here. It's when we broke out that we began this very strong move. Remember, we only need one month of rest. A good example can be seen here, which was another good entry. So we need to be sensitive to the idea that should we break out at some point, that's a market we should respect and a market that might have intentions of moving higher. Now, if we take a look at the Dow weekly, so far, the action from this week, I would say net-net remains bullish. And here's why. Well you know that we've been watching the RSI 50 on the weekly where the Dow has been holding support going back a couple of years and we held during this push lower and we haven't dropped below that line so that remains still bullish because all the market would need to do is confirm strength by turning up the RSI that would be confirmation of double support around RSI 50. Now, I've been saying that if this can hold, if we can hold the RSI 50 level, then what that means is that we are going to have to test these highs. Test the highs, if not break out. That becomes back on the table. 
it so happens to be a characteristic of what happens when a market holds RSI 50. We held here. Because of that, we tested the highs and actually managed to break out. We can say we held here with uniform action. We would test the highs. In fact, we actually broke out. So holding the RSI 50 level, if it holds, because we don't know, this is still playing out. But if it can hold, then it means that there's a good chance we are going to test the highs, if not break out above them. And of course, if we don't hold and we break, look out, because the market's going to have to test lower price levels. So net-net, this chart is stabilizing. It looks like the market is wanting to hold. Net-net looks okay, looks strong, looks stable. We haven't broken down on the weekly chart yet. If we take a look at the Dow from the weekly standpoint, going back about five years on the weekly, there is a line, I'll draw it like this. Something like that. And what this line gives you is the previous resistance level. But once we clear that level here, we haven't looked back in terms of price. The market has come back to test the line here, which is those lows. Once those lows held, we went to new highs. We've hit this line once before, and the market held. Now you can see at the end of the week here, we closed on the line, which means two scenarios. If we can bounce back above that line, that's very bullish. And that's why I say we can hold and bounce on this blue line. Chances are we are going to test recent weekly closing highs, if not break out and advance beyond current highs. Also, if we break below the line, and especially if we drop below RSI 50, then that's going to be a major sell signal. Now remember, markets have an, am an amazing memory. There's also a third line or another line, let me see a second line on this chart, that connects the lows. You can draw it like this, where we connect the lows going back to the lows of 15 on the RSI. Connects those lows, those lows and the lows right there. Let me draw it again so we can be on the same page. And so you can see that if we can hold this line, then that becomes bullish. And holding this line means we are going to test the highs. So that's a big deal. And if we break below the line, of course, then that gives us a sell signal. Now there's something we can do, which is to help us gauge which way the market wants to go and is to set some traps not really traps, but an alert either way. The recent low on a weekly closing basis for the Dow is at 24,190.90, which if we break below that level, so a break of that level would definitely be bearish. So just something to consider is to set an alert because if you see prices drop below the recent weekly closing low, that's a sell signal. At the same time, if we can clear this recent weekly closing high from last week, that would actually be very bullish. And for the Dow, the level to watch here is for any movement above 2.5. 309.99. So above this bullish, below this bearish. Let me give you the price levels for the S&P 500. We can see if it can clear the recent weekly closing high. That would be indication of bullish intent. The level to watch there is for the S&P 500 to move above 2. 
747.30 and we can see that if the S&P 500 goes on to drop below the recent weekly closing low that would be bearish and the level to watch there is 2619.55 all right let's take a look at the nasdaq and for the nasdaq the level to watch for a downside break which would be bearish is for any movement that takes it below seven three three seven point three nine which happens to be this weekly closing low and we can see that it needs to move above this recent weekly closing high if there's going to be movement to the upside so you can set an alert the level to watch there actually that's wrong let me correct myself that's the level and here the level was 3874.49 so this was wrong i apologize for that all right so this would have to be cleared if the Nasdaq is to move higher. Let's take a look at the Dow daily. Just want to show you one line. Anybody who was paying attention to this line this past week was not surprised by the market moving lower because of resistance on this back test line. Keep in mind that was also the break of this level so we came back to test the underside of that line we were rejected with uniform activity now the question becomes what next right it's always the question what next now one thing that we we have to concede is that markets generally do not move to the upside with strength until the MACDs are above zero and right now the daily MACDs are below zero so net net daily charts are still not as strong as they should which might explain why we've lost a lot of the gains from recent last couple of weeks so as long as the MACDs are below zero market needs to prove itself and for the market to prove itself or at least for the Dow to prove itself it would need to clear this recent ridge would need to clear this line and also would need to clear this line or let's say would need to be back above zero here and clear this recent node now, i don't want to go into long explanation but right now net net in other words the more we stay below zero on the macd's the more the market is gonna be a little bit trading heavy as long as we are below zero and you can easily see this because when we were trending higher the market was above zero on the MACDs so hope you can see that it's pretty straightforward we trend higher because the MACDs were above zero which means in other words the MACDs are showing that the market is holding on to its gains that's why it's above average above zero now on this chart here we can see where the market is coming back to test now I'm gonna use this line just for illustration but what we see here is where the market moved above a range and since then that has been support right there uniform activity support we came close here uniform activity support uniform activity because double bottom before the line below the line back above it for those lows and here we are so we can see the way the market closed on friday is we can either bounce on this line and move higher which would be a good entry point or we break below the line which would be short-term bearish and if I was to be honest frankly there's no way of telling 
which way the market would take. Market can decide. Market will have to decide. Because if we take a look at the hourly, the hourly does look good. If you take this line here, which was the recent breakout of the lows here, those lows are still holding. We haven't broken those lows yet. If we draw a line from here based on my uniformity principle, and I'm going to provide a link in the description of the video about the uniformity principle, but you can see here uniform activity below the line back above it for the lows there. So that makes sense. And by the way, we can also see the inverse of that is when we broken below here of those highs and market has been trying to move above that line for a while this was resistance here if you saw that you expected a pullback we got the pullback now we are seeing the other side which is what looks like bounce so this hourly chart by itself is suggesting that this is a market that wants to go higher right here because of that support as long as the support is holding I hope that makes sense if we take a look at the hourly chart for the Dow and keep in mind I've only looked at the Dow so you can imagine how complex this gets in a hurry if we take a look at other markets or other sectors but you can see that this is where we broke down. Just use the chart to tell you what to do. And to understand this, we broke down here off the highs. We can draw our uniformity line. And this is the five minute chart. So we ended Friday's session on the line. Which means at the beginning of the week, we have, we can expect one of the following. We either break out above that line and continue climbing higher or we start the week lower because of resistance on the five minute chart now because the VIX is trading at about oh, not, about 20 it means that smaller time frames are still very controlling so because the VIX is trading above the mid teens even the small time frames of the five minute can determine the next major swing trade so what's the conclusion? Conclusion is we need to use the weekly charts, the recent highs and the recent lows to determine the next major swing direction. But net net, as long as we are holding above RSI 50 for the NASDAQ, S&P 500 and the Dow, the market remains bullish to sideways. And don't forget also that as long as the Dow is holding above 69.1 on its monthly chart that's another argument that the markets continue to be sideways to bullish and in conclusion if you are bearish and have bearish positions you can continue holding your bearish position until the market can prove itself by moving above this line and at the same time you can still remain bullish if you are bullish until the market breaks down below recent weekly closing lows. Eric Mwadith, Mother .com. As always, good luck, peace, and blessings. E-A-C-S. Mwah. Woo.